All right, so I received this letter through the mail. This is from Maria Cameron, Patient Relations Representative, Ascension St. Vincent's. And there's no office phone number listed on this letter, and that's, uh, that's not professional. This is another warning sign uh, to any prospective uh, patient out there navigating uh, the troubled waters of healthcare in the United States of America 2022. Today, uh, the system's falling apart. And among other things, patients and paying customers out there, they're faced with a diminishing and diluting services from this industry uh, when they take their money and try to have injuries treated in these uh, professional medical facilities. They're getting less and less for their money. And, you know, I don't even want to know what this stuff's going to look like in uh, 20 or 30 years. So I had to look up the phone number for Maria Cameron, Patient Relations Representative Ascension, St. Vincent's, uh, Birmingham, Alabama. And I called her July 5th, 2022. Uh, Ascension's investigation into my case, uh, they did not acknowledge uh, the truth of my injuries or that misdiagnosis had been made by these doctors. And this would be Julian Patrick Drewhan, MD, Donald Shane Kelly, MD, Navid Zenus, MD, Michael Brandt Ruff, MD. They're radiologists. They looked at x rays, MRI, CT scans that I had done 2018, 2019. Alright, I am claiming that I was misdiagnosed and evidence of the broken skull injury that I had showed up in those CT, MRI, and possibly that x-ray they had in 2018, 2019, um, all misdiagnosed. Ascension claims investigation determined I received appropriate care. However, they make an offer here that if I would like to see further investigation, I would need to send in additional medical records from other medical sources. If I had no injuries present and there was zero basis to my claims, they would not have made this offer. And it's right here in writing. They would not acknowledge an error was made by the doctors in the existing records. Errors, however, can clearly be seen. Uh, errors that I almost died from in 2019. Ascension should not require that I, as a patient, have to mail in something or anything additionally for them to confirm that their doctors misdiagnosed me and the evidence can be seen in the Ascension uh, St. Vincent's records. Relations. How can I help you? I received a letter from St. Vincent's Ascension as dated uh, June 28th. Yes, sir. All right, and it says here uh, I submitted a complaint on June 23rd. And um, yeah, I had several uh, x ray, CT scans, and MRIs that were uh, misdiagnosed by. Doctors that work for St. Vincent's Ascension and uh, I went into the emergency room at St. Vincent's East and went to St. Vincent's primary care in Trussell and had um, These scans done so it says here in my letter if I would like to see further investigation Please provide medical records to the address below. So why do you need to investigate this further? If uh, there was no basis or truth uh, to my claims that I was misdiagnosed okay. So that's only for the patient. So they, so once the resolution is received, so I'm providing that to you from whatever the investigation concluded. And my instructions, if you feel as the patient um, that you need to provide additional information that wasn't originally provided, then you're welcome to do so. So that way, if you come with additional information, then the complaint can be reopened and then I forward it back to... Mm -hmm. Um, the leadership for review.
but All only right. if additional information is received. Okay, okay. Well, why do you need medical records for me? Because the complaint uh, that I'm referring to, the the only records that need to be examined are where these errors and misdiagnoses exist. They're on the records of St. Vincent's Ascension. So if you're asking me to send in medical records, I will simply send in the records that I went to St. Vincent's East Hospital to obtain in the first place. And this is a waste of uh, time and resources. It doesn't make any sense. Why do you need me to send in uh, m more medical well, it records? It wouldn't be our record. It would be records from any outside facility that you are referring to. We have our own records for okay. patients. That, it yeah. would be outside. Right. Well, that's where, that's where the, uh, the error exists. It's own Ascension St. Vincent's records. And that's the records you guys need to have looked at in this investigation. So I guess that, was that done or was that not done? So it would be records from outside Ascension that Ascension would not have access to, only the patient. Uh -huh. So if you're comparing information from other facilities indicating that there um, was a misdiagnosis no, after going to another facility, no, then I that would be the reason yeah. to submit information from an outside facility. No, ma'am, I'm not uh, comparing. I'm stating that the errors in the misdiagnosis exist on Ascension's records. Or it doesn't have anything to do with any other doctor that said that I had an injury or I didn't have an injury. It has to do simply with the errors in the misdiagnosis that exist on Ascension St. Vincent's records, and that's it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So with the, with the information received, that investigation is complete, and that's the final resolution. If you don't have any outside records to forward for additional review, uh, there's nothing further that we can do. Well, I shouldn't have to do that because the error exists simply and, uh, and totally in your records. And it was my experience with your hospital where this happened. Yes, sir. I understand what you're saying. I don't think you do. It, it, and again, it's not myself that investigates, but from the information received, yeah. the resolution is final. Yeah. Um, and, and unfortunately, that's not. There's nothing yeah. more that I can say, Mr. So, Star. I mean, why do you need me to mail something, anything? If St. Vincent's Ascension uh, and the doctors that work for Ascension St. Vincent's made this mistake, and I mean, that's all there is to this. It doesn't have anything to do with me. As indicated in the letter, the care received was appropriate. So again, if there's further investigation, excuse me, further investigation needed, any outside records, you're welcome to provide those. Otherwise, our review is complete and final, sir. Okay, well, from my position, uh, your response in this letter, this is unacceptable, and this matter is far from uh, complete and final. And thanks for talking to me.